the undisputed champion of the world, Cambosis. What's going on all? Thanks for tuning in. Um, Cambosis and Haney looking to seal the deal in May in Australia. Um, according to Matthew, man, Eddie Hearn is saying that this fight is going to go ahead. Looking to seal it in May. Um, in Australia, so this is great, you know, I mean, Cambosis is, after all, the A signed, so it is his decision of where the fight is going to take place. Not only that, according to Solomon, he is the undisputed champion. That's why I was stated, you know, the undisputed champion of the world, Cambosis. Um, he is a true countryman, you know, a true guy fighting for his country. Um, that's what I like to see, man. You know, I mean, you are you are fighting for yourself at the end of the day, but you're also fighting for your country, and for him to defend it in his country, you know, putting money, putting his pride before money, and or putting his country before money, you know, it's, it's good to see, man. Um, I mean, there's nothing better to have a fight, you know, singing the national anthem in front of your country, defending your titles, you know, there's nothing better than that. Um, so, I mean, good on him for, you know, taking that, uh, the route of, of fighting in Australia. I mean, you could have easily fought in America or you could have easily fought in the UK and got more money. But um, this is good to see, you know. This is something that we should have done as well. Andy Ruiz, when he beat Joshua, you know, he should have put the money aside and fought in Mexico, you know. Um, moments like this don't come all the time. It's very rare to have an undisputed fight in Australia. Um, you know, for Ruiz it would have been very, very, extremely rare because you know he was the the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. So I mean, things like that, man. You gotta, you gotta really, you know, wear your country on your sleeve and and just. You know, not just do it for yourself, man, but do it for everyone else. And, um, you know, you never forget your roots. You never forget where, you're, where you come from, who you are, your culture, all those things, you know. So you really do have to acknowledge it. And if you can, man, by having a, a you know, a title defense, you know, especially, you know, in boxing, where it's, it is a fighting sport, there's nothing better than that. You know, money can't replace that. So, I mean, this is great for Cambosis to, to do this, man, you know, to, to defend in his country in Australia. Um, and like, you know, like I said before, man, you know, Eddie Hearn, you know, he's making the fights happen for his fighters. Um, the only one that's really hasn't got, got in a good fight, man, is um, Dillian White, you know. But, I mean, he's in the process now of getting that Fury fight. But I'm just saying, you know, if you got a good team team on your side, man, you got good promoters, the fights will happen. And um, that's the case right here. I mean, Devin Haney is a guy, man, that's looking to break records. As he's a guy that's hungry to break Floyd Mayweather's record. You know, he always talks about how Mayweather was, how, this is how much fights he had in his career at this time. And, and, and about titles and all that, you know, he's all about trying to, break records, you know, trying to surpass other people's expectations by, you know, making history. So, I mean, this is a very hungry fight away. I believe the fight will happen regardless because he's um, hungry to make the fight and he's also determined to make the fight by all means, you know, he's saying, man, I will, I will fly to Australia, I will fly to Jupiter, you know, so I mean, this fight here is going to be a good fight. Um, Cambosis, you know, Big ups to him, man. I mean, he's he, as I said before, Solomon said that he is the undisputed champion. He could have easily had another fight, you know, but he's going in there to prove himself to beat Haney. You know, a lot of some people think that Haney is, you know, the holding the other piece of the puzzle, but according to Solomon, he's not. Um, you all know that the WBC have more than one title, you know, but I mean, there is only one main title and that's the one that Cambosis has, you know, so I mean, you can only follow what Solomon is saying here, but um, this is great, you know, this is another big fight for 2022, man, 
it really is looking promising this year, man, for boxing. And um, I'm looking forward to it, man. No doubt, I'm looking forward to it. I believe the fight will happen in Australia. I believe it will happen in May, man. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it will probably happen after the Joshua Usyk fight. So, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, man. you got, you know, one unification, one undisputed fight. And it's only, you know, first quarter of the year, man, or, you know, first half, you could say. It doesn't get any better than that. Um, but um, as I always say, man, you know, I look, I look forward to hearing what you have to say and uh, leave your comment, man, leave your take on it. Um, thanks for tuning in once again, man, you know. Much peace, man, much love out there to everyone. And um, stay safe. God bless. Peace.